first of all, um, in the workshop, I'll just take people through uh, the source material that we've provided uh, for the workshop and also that you can, if you have a look at the links that we have to our Pinterest board, you will see that there is even more source material that you can choose from. Um, so literally, obviously, uh, folk art is um, is a very sort of highly decorative and patterned patterned works, um, but also it does come in very in lots of different styles because um, all over all over the world they uh, there are different sort of forms really. Um, so you can have a little search and look at Mexican folk art. Uh, or maybe Russian folk art, um, you know, it might be that Scandinavian folk art is something that would appeal to you. Um, it's something that certainly does appeal to me. Um, so I'm just opening up, so I'm just going to open up here, hopefully there's not too much glare from the window. Um, so I'll just find... Um, the Pinterest board so that you can have just a very quick look at that there. So generally speaking, we have whichever workshop we have currently, if it's playing live, um, we have that usually at the top of our boards here. Um, it does move further down the, the older it gets, but uh, we do anything that you find in the... Uh, website on the website for sale as a pre-record you can um, find the source board for it here so the folk birds is there's obviously lots of different ideas that you can use um, for your particular painting um, so I was explaining to people that I mean just that, that initial sort of element the, the initial section of the workshop I explained to people that, generally speaking, I was going to base the composition on this painting here and then some of the the colour uh, source was going to generally come from here, but not necessarily so. I tend to change my ideas about things while I'm working along. Um, but whatever background it is you choose for your particular painting, you want to have a little bit of a think about um, contrast so if you're going to go for a darker background then your foreground is probably going to be you want to pick some lighter colors and then obviously in reverse if you're going for a light background you might want your imagery to be a little bit darker um, so that's the kind of thing really that we talked about at the beginning of the workshop and uh, the other thing is that in this particular workshop, we did have some people that joined us uh, a little bit late. So there is a recap of what we did in those initial steps. Um, so what I'm going to show you is basically how we divided up the picture to create our composition. Now, because live's, live, uh, the live workshops... Um, the quality uh, of what you see through the camera is not so great. It's a little bit pixelated and then depending on how good your internet connection is, uh, sometimes you sort of, yeah, it's a little bit, as I say, it's not going to be quite as good as you'll see through this camera. Um, so generally what I do is we, I, we, on the whole, not always, but on the whole we work with an A3 size paper and just taking you through the materials um, so we're trying to keep these fairly flick flexible for some of these workshops um, but what you will need is which is listed on the website um, i used acrylic paint in this workshop but it might be you want to use watercolor you can do that or watercolor pencils those could be quite nice felt tip pens as well can be um can be very can look really nice actually so a little bit of flexibility over the color and that most of the workshop really is is about practice in drawing and some time to sort of just 
meditate a little bit while while you work so we're not really putting the stress on the painting so yeah so generally speaking i demo with the sharpie pen but ask everybody to work with a pencil and have a rubber and sharpen it you'll see later on as well that you will need uh, water, rinse water, maybe paper towel to rinse your brushes in. Again, it just depends on what materials you're using. So A4 piece of paper, there we go. So yes, so I generally just show with the Sharpie pen because it's easier. So the first thing that we're gonna do, so we're basing our composition on this and we are actually not the birds, but we're gonna start with the branches first. So we're just going to divide the, the, the paper with the shapes of the branches. And if you think of a branch, it's always thicker at the base and then it thins out as it goes towards the point of the branch. So you're going to use your pencil. I'm just going to sketch this in very quickly with a pencil. You want nice light pencil marks so that you can rub this out nice and easily and that when it does come to painting you won't see sort of lots of lots of pencil marks underneath i was explaining you probably hear that later on in the video um that often when i work i do lots of very sketchy marks and my artwork can end up looking quite messy so if i didn't use the light pencil marks um it would it would soon look very untidy so it's just the way that I find the line, really. We all kind of tend to draw a little bit differently. So, so then the next step really is just to, is to double up, double up your lines of the branches. And as I said, you know, it's thicker at the base and then it finds out as you go up towards the top of the branch. We want some other little branches coming off here. So literally, it's really just um, your guidelines. So we don't, what we, it's, it's much better if you sort of simplify things. So we put in our, it's a little bit thick, you see. There we go. And then I'm gonna do this in the Sharpie pen just so that you can see it nice and clearly. Just take that out of the way. Now, obviously, um, again, you're, you you will do this with pencil and not with sharpie because there are other things that you will need to do, like when you start adding in the flowers and things like that. So yeah, we just start slightly thicker on the base. And then it, it thins out. So have a little bit of a think about your, the branches that are going over or are coming under. Um, but again, not to worry too much because you can tidy this up later. So it's just because I'm using the Sharpie pen, a little bit more important for me to get this right now, more or less. Oops. And then from there, you should be able to catch up then with the rest of the video. Oops. So again, pencil marks so that if you make any mistakes, you can easily correct them. So again, these are just guidelines. So that's really how we started off and then you'll be able to catch up with us in the rest of the video. So if you have any questions at all, then please just let us know. And again, hope, hopefully we'll see you on a live workshop soon. Thank you.